Hi Taurus, I'm Karma and this is Karma Light Readings. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you are new here, welcome. Please subscribe and like. And if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting my channel. I just want to say thank you first off to everybody who um, signed up for the contest or participated in my contest and congratulations to the winners. Um, and for those of you that entered and didn't win, I am going to be doing this contest once a month. So stay tuned because it will probably be around the middle of the month I'll do the contest again. Um, and then also, just as always, I want to remind you that energy is fluid, okay? So I'm asking to connect to Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, September 2019, love. Please keep in mind that love to me is not just intimate relationships, although I will be tapping into that. Um, but it, this could also reflect, um, maybe this will resonate with a friendship, a family member. Could even resonate with your relationship with yourself. Um, my cat is, wow, hopping all over the place. I love cats. They're so funny. Um, okay, so I am Karma. I think I already told you that. This is your love reading for September 2019. And for those of you who are new here or if this is your first time watching, I am a Taurus, Taurus Sun and Moon. My rising is Cancer. And my Venus is Aries. All right, let's see. Holy Spirit, what do we have for Taurus in love? September 2019. Let's see. What does Spirit have? Taurus, okay. Hmm. So you have somebody's coming forward, Taurus, in September. This is a very intellectual, logical man. This is the King of Swords. King of Swords is so King Solomon to me. He just really makes me think, if anybody is familiar with King Solomon from the Bible, that's the type of personality that um, I associate the King of Swords and the Emperor with, okay? So very um full of wisdom wonderful gift of discernment okay um very logical <clears throat> very intellectual um man and he's he's made a decision he's made a decision this could be a feminine okay just because this is masculine understand we all have yin and yang masculine and feminine within us okay this is just the energy so this is somebody who's very, um, has taken some time to think about something. I feel like there was a break, okay? Um, there was a break and that, that break is over. They're no longer resting. They're no longer resting. But there come this guy, this person is coming forward with an offer to us, okay? It's almost like a knight in shining armor. Um, he has something that he wants to say. He's, it's filled with love. He has his cup and he's holding his cup out towards you. And it's like he's ready to make some sort of offer. Holy Spirit, what do we have coming in for Taurus? What do we have coming in for Taurus September 2019? Mm. Interesting. I feel like you have a lot on your plate this month, Taurus, okay? A lot of trying to figure out how to balance things, okay? And it's making it very hard to commit. This could be you or your partner's energy. But I feel like somebody has a lot of options in front of them they're they're really they're they're trying to juggle um, a lot of different things. Maybe you have a new job, family life, relationship, but it's like I, I'm feeling like I have so many options in front of me, and I'm not quite sure which one I want to pick. So I'm I don't want to commit to any of them is what I'm feeling like. So this could be your energy or, or the person that you're in um, um, a relationship with. 
but I'm feeling like somebody isn't able to make a decision. Let me see. Holy Spirit, why is this seven? Ooh. And it's a warning of some sort, too, because we have two sevens here. Holy Spirit, why is the seven of cups and the seven of swords here? The seven of cups and the seven of swords. Really? They're like, we don't know. Why is this? There we go. Thank you. This could be also for some of you. It's like you're just kind of moving forward. Somebody's very charming. Okay, we have the Three of Cups. Some of you, this could be stepping outside. You could have a lot of options of suitors, of people coming forward, okay? Because we have somebody coming forward. Somebody's offering love. They want to work together. We have that. And then we have somebody who's... There was a break. They're no longer taking a break. But somebody who's kind of not ready, like they're just kind of in denial about the connection. And then we have the Seven of Cups and the Seven of Swords and the Three of Cups. I'm feeling like somebody could have several options here. Maybe there's more than one person or what another party involved, Taurus. Um, and they just don't, they can't make a decision. Or you, Taurus, could have a lot going on this month as well um, that's preventing you from being able to really commit to one situation. <clears throat> but there's going to be some sort, somebody's ready for this, for it to take action here. Somebody's ready for some clarity. Somebody's bringing forth some sort of action and communication. This person watches you. There, this person, it, this person watches you. Oh, wow, yeah. But they're coming forward. They are coming forward with an offer. They're like, hello, how have you been? Um, they're coming in. And this is a very thoughtful offer towards the love connection. And it's been thought of, thought through very carefully. I feel like this person had, or you had a lot of options, weren't ready to commit, right? They were trying to figure out which decision do they need to make. They didn't know. But I feel like that clarity is coming in. It's almost like they didn't know how to balance things. Because I'm seeing like children. So some of you could have children or your partner could have children. I'm seeing family members. So it could be something... There's just was a lot going on for, for somebody here. I don't even feel like it was like cheating. But somebody's coming forward and this could be you or them, but somebody's like, hello, this is something that I want. I want this back now. It's a peace offering. It's a very thought out proposal of love, okay? And it's something that's stable. They, I feel like this person who's coming forward, Taurus, they know what they're doing. They've thought about this long and hard. They've thought about this. What does it mean if I do this? If we go this way, what will happen? Like they're really planning it all out. Holy Spirit, what does, oh yeah, this is somebody from your past. This is definitely somebody from your past. We have the three of swords in reverse. So this is somebody who You've had some pain in the past with this person, but you guys are working on forgiveness and healing and moving forward. Holy Spirit. Whoa. They want to give me, I'm, they're flooding me with visions right now. 
Really? That's what you guys give me? You guys are healing and moving forward, but it's like somebody's just not being very sensitive. It's like, why are we getting wishy-washy here with you, Taurus? What's going on? It's like one minute you guys are in love, and then over here it's like there somebody was hurt, and the other person is like, it's almost like they're like, yeah, but it wasn't that big of a deal. You didn't need to be that hurt. Okay, it's like they don't understand why why you were that hurt or why you were that upset about something. It doesn't make sense to them. Holy Spirit, what does Taurus have coming in September 2019 in love? Oh, wow. Well, we have your energy here, Taurus. And I feel like this is something that, this is a connection where there's there's deep union wanted. There's a, a deep commitment that's what is going on. There's a deep commitment that is wanted, right? But I also feel like Taurus, that this is a symbol. I feel like the reason why this came out alone is the spirit is saying that on top of kind of dealing with this connection and, and wanting this union, this is also more about connecting to yourself and seeking deeper knowledge and meaning of things within yourself. And I feel like that's kind of what you're going to be going through um, in September as well. <clears throat> September is a nine month. So, and it's all about big endings and beginnings and changes, okay? Um, and the Hierophant, I love that that is us. I love <laughs> that the Hierophant is Taurus because I've always felt, and I don't know if you guys have either, but I'm I'm assuming you have because I, I know when I meet Taurus, we're so similar. Um, but I've always felt, even as a young child, that this was who I was on the inside. I've always felt that I, I looked like that. I felt like royalty, so to speak. I felt like there was something bigger than what there what than what I can see, right? And I felt connected to so much. Um, and so when I see this, it's like this to me is really about coming into oneself and connecting to source, to God, and really knowing who you are and where you come from, and really searching for spiritual meanings and understandings of life and who you are um, to become your true self. And I feel like in September, that's going to be a really big thing for a lot of, um, for a lot of us um, this month. And not just for Taurus, I feel like for a lot of, of um Zodiac signs, we're all kind of going through this growth right now. But I definitely feel like for us Taurus, that sometimes some love situations can kind of catapult us into um, a spiritual awakening because we do love so deeply. And that's kind of what I'm seeing here. There is a lot of love here in this connection. But there's also a lot of hesitation. There's like all these offers and all this healing. But I feel like even though there's these offers and these healings, there's still confusion. So let's see if we can get into that. Holy Spirit, what messages do we have for Taurus for September 2019? I hope you guys have been doing well. And had a good Labor Day for those of you in the U.S. Okay, Holy Spirit, what do we have for Taurus? September 2019. We don't want to play no more. Thank you. Yes. What is going on? It's like I just said to you, Taurus. One minute you're on, one minute you're off. Somebody, it's like you both really want this. But somebody's like... They need to think about something 2,400 times and oh, another 2,400 times. And, another, and it's like, how long do you have to reassess and look over the situation? Um, no. 
So this could be you or this could be um, your partner's energy. But there was, a, there was a break and we know that there was some sort of split in this connection because we see that there was some heartache and that there was some pain, okay? But I feel like even though things kind of stalled, Taurus, things stalled, but it was like you both kind of knew it needed to happen. But if you have that feeling that it's going to come back, then you, you have to trust that. Because I'm, I'm getting the feeling that both of you are in this phase. Like this is one of you and this is the other one, okay? We have earth sign here and then we have water sign. So some of you could be dealing with the water sign, but I feel like this is you, Taurus. You're like reassessing everything. You're like going over all the seeds that were planted while you were in this connection. And you're like, okay, what didn't blossom the right way, right? And you're trying to figure out kind of like what went wrong. And that's what we do. And then we're like, okay, so where can I be better, right? We, and you're reassessing and trying to fix. And then we have this person over here the water sign okay and for those of you that aren't dealing with the water sign doesn't matter i'm just just in case if anybody is i know they like to to hear validation um but it's like then the other person is all they're looking at are the seeds that didn't blossom right and they're not seeing the effort that the other person has put forward into correcting what was wrong so they're ignoring it so it's like both of you are kind of in this like stalemate position and can't you don't know where to go you don't know which way to go i'm moving my like like a chessboard but it's like you know you can't you can't figure out how to get around a hump you can't figure out you can but somebody else is very stuck on it and i don't know why because it seems like there's a lot of love here. Holy Spirit, please show me what's coming in for Taurus. September 2019. For their monthly, really the whole deck. That is boo-boo. That means they don't want me to use this anymore. I just said boo-boo. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, let's see. Holy Spirit, please provide us with closing messages for Taurus. September 2019, love. The emperor, I was just talking, was I talking about him to you? Yes, okay, so he's so King Solomon to me. Emperor and the King of Swords, very King Solomon, okay? So this is an energy of organization and logic, very structured, very disciplined, thinks things through. You know, makes makes sure that he's making the right decisions, okay? And um, this is a leader. This is somebody who leads people. Um, and so I feel like, so we have the emperor and the three of swords. So this was a time where you, you know, you're, you're taking the time to, to heal. You're needing to forgive yourself and others. Something happened, so let's see. Holy Spirit, please show us what Taurus can expect in love. September 2019. So I feel like there's going to be some sort of communication coming in again with this person where it's like, Right now, everything is topsy-turvy. I feel like you guys have been on a break, but you're kind of pulling back in a little bit. It's not, it's going very slow. And I know that can be frustrating for a Taurus. It's like, we're slow, but once we've made up our mind, we're like ready to get things going. We don't understand why we have to wait. Like, hello, I, I get it. But um, we have the King of Fire and the Four of Swords. Which I think is interesting because... Didn't we have the Four of Swords before? Somewhere? Yeah, Four of Swords. So, <clears throat> it's like this person needs a lot of time before making a decision. I feel like they were hurt. Either you were hurt or they were hurt in the past. 
and they're really taking the time and then they're they're focusing on what it is they need or want out of this so that they so that when it's time to communicate sorry something's on here so when it's time to communicate to us they're communicating with a vision and it's almost like they're going into deep meditation to get the answers needed or that you need to go into deep meditation to get the answers needed but this is all followed by the magician it's saying that you are ready you know you're gonna we're coming into a time like i said this is the month of september is beginnings and endings big stuff is coming two of wands yes with justice that's what i'm talking about karma is coming in so it's like you this magician you guys are going through this phase taurus and you're really gonna i feel like for both of you you're learning a lot about yourself and you are gonna come into your own and you're gonna have a new connection with this person, okay? You're continuing to move forward. You see that you're at the precipice of something big in your life and justice is coming. So it's like all of a sudden you've set up boundaries and you can stand up for what you believe in and you're going to be given balance to this connection. That's for sure what's coming in because there's so much love here because I'm seeing so much offers being given. Somebody's offering so much and then the other person is like reaching and then pulling back. So I need to close out. Holy Spirit, can you please give us closing messages for Taurus love? What is the outcome of this connection in September 2019 for Taurus love? Woo, what is the outcome? Thank you. Wow. Five of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. This is somebody's worried. Somebody is was worried about stability, okay, in this connection. Somebody was worried about what do they offer or what can they offer to this connection. But this is a soulmate connection. This is somebody that you've been with, okay? They have a lot of deep feelings for you and they want to move forward. But they have some fear, spirit closing messages. Yeah, you guys will be clearing away. Wow, this is beautiful. That's what I'm saying right now. It's like all these fears, the reason why there's a lot of hesitant in this hesitance in this connection. You have so many swords, by the way. Somebody's like thinking, thinking, thinking about this a lot. They're putting a lot of thought into this. Um, and so somebody wants to, they, they want to review what had happened in the past so that it can be corrected. So we have the Queen of Swords and the Five of Swords. So I feel like there was um, an issue in the past that was very unwise and you guys are learning from that now. You're reviewing everything that happened and what you're, what you're doing is clearing away everything that no longer serves you and you guys are gonna be moving forward, I feel like in a more, um, in a less heavy type of energy, if that makes sense. Okay, my lovely Taurians. That is all that I'm getting for you. This is your monthly reading, okay? So I will have your weekly up soon. Um, thank you so much for subscribing. I hope you guys are doing well. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, oh my gosh, Six of Wands was the last card that came out, which is why I'm feeling like you guys are moving somewhere new because you're gonna be removing all that no longer serves you and it's gonna bring victory to this connection because all of a sudden you guys are going to be like why are we worried about that anyways when we just love each other so i'm just saying but anyways thank you guys so much for subscribing stay tuned uh, i think middle of september so about two weeks we'll do the um contest again for some of you guys to win and let me know how this resonates and if you're interested in a personal reading the link is below in the description to my etsy page love you guys and see you later